all y'all amazing folks on YouTube. Crafty Jenny back again, and I'm going to be making the covered wagon today. This is one of my favorite things that I've ever done. Um, my grandmother taught me how to make this, and it really holds a lot of precious memories to me making these. So, um, let's get started. This is the pattern that I go by for this size wagon. You can always make it smaller or bigger, you know, depending on what size you want, but I always love this size. And I'm thinking about making a miniature pattern, so we'll see. Um, but this is the pattern. I'll leave it up here for a second. Y'all can pause it if you want to use the pattern. But this is pretty much, this right here is this section of the wagon. Um, up here, these two sides are these both of these and then the bottom is this and these numbers are how many squares in the can can in the uh, in the plastic canvas that it is so the sides are 13 by 8 the bottom is 38 by 13 and then this section this part is 38 this part is 10 and then this part is 42 and then this right here you just kind of once you get all of this cut out once you know how where the 10 is and you know the 42 you just kind of angle it off as good as you can but this is the pattern that I go by and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my pattern cut out and I'll show you how to do it once you get the pattern out now that I've got the pattern all cut out and ready to go, what I like to do is I like to start with the bottom and the sides. And you attach one of the sides to the bottom. And what I like to do is go from the inside of the bottom to get started. And then you put them together and then you go back through the first hole on each of the bottom and the side. You'll have like a double stitch on the bottom side, but that's okay. You'll give it a little extra support. And you just go all the way over until you get it done. And then you put the other side on. So when I get that done, I'll show you what it looks like. Now that I've got the bottom and the sides attached, it is time to attach the top. And you can go at this any way you want, start wherever you want, wherever you feel comfortable starting. But all you do is just attach all the way down, up the sides, on both sides, both sides have to attach, and all the way on the bottom on both sides all the way around you just attach it like you did these and then it, it will all be together so I'm gonna get that done and be right back now that you have it all attached together what you need to do is take your yarn and go all the way around the empty sides you just go like you've been doing to attach them you just go all the way around like that and you keep going until you get it all the way done and then next comes the fun part putting our pattern on our wagon now that we have all of the sides and edges covered it's time for the fun part the pattern so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this pattern right here we do smaller X's up until here until it starts spreading out wider and then you do the bigger X's all the way around and then what I'd like to do is put one single medium-ish looking X on each of the sides so to do that what you do is you start out here 
Then you go diagonally one of the squares. Then you go over from the one you just did one. And then diagonally down one square. And then you will have your small little X pattern. And then you go all the way until you get it covered to about right here with these small X's. When I get all those little X's on both sides done, I'll let you see what it looks like. And sorry about the bark. That's our little pupper a little bit. He thought he heard something outside. And now it is done. All of the pattern on the wagon is done. I'm extremely happy with how it came out. And I really love the dark purple. Compared to the light purple. I'm really happy with the dark purple. So now what you need to do is either you normally can find circles in the plastic canvas uh, for sale but I've not been able to find it lately so what I did um, I did the best I could in cutting out circular shapes for the wheels to attach you can make the wheels as small or as big as you like the look of them I like them around this big for this size of a wagon. So you want to do the same for this as you did for this. You just want to go all the way around and give it a couple layers. Let me show you. See, you go around and give it a couple layers. Then you do some X's and then you go around and do another layer. And you do that to every wheel. I'm going to get that done, and I'll be right back. Because I had to hand cut out the circle, I wasn't able to really get those good, clean lines like you would get a round circle at the store. So, I had to kind of work with it a little bit, and just do kind of like a thick layer a couple times around. Um, to get this look and this is the best I could do with it. So I am going to keep working with it and get some of the patterns, some of the X's um, on the wheels. And when I am done and get it looking as good as I can, I'll show you what I was able to do. Yeah, I have learned a valuable lesson. If you cannot get the circle patterns already cut out very very difficult to work with this as a circle but I've got it the best way I can now I'm gonna get a couple circles like around the outside I'm gonna do a couple circles in the middle and then we will attach the wheel now that I've got it as good as I can what you do is you take one of these fasteners you can get it out of the school supply section of any store and they are perfect for the middle of the wheel. If I can ever get it. There we go. And you go through the middle as good as you can. Like that. And then you push it onto wherever you want your wheel to be. I kind of want mine to be right in here. And you push it on like that and then on the inside you just push them down where they will stay secure and that is how you do the wheel what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search high and low until I can find the rounds already cut out to do the other wheels because this is very aggravating <laughs> um, so once I find the wheel the round circles for the other wheels I will just post a picture of what it looked like when I'm done but um, if you enjoy arts and crafts if you enjoy sewing if you enjoy anything like that subscribe to my channel 
like the video, leave me a comment, click all those notification bells, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!